Spider-Man Homecoming marked a new chapter, at least movie-wise, for Spider-Man, and with it came Easter eggs that perhaps you didn't see? So we have five Easter eggs from Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay. Um, but there are tens, if not more. There were so many, but I can't do an hour on this. So five of them for us. Uh, the first one is, um, you may remember Donald Glover. As, I do, I do remember him. Yeah, you know, as uh -huh. acting and rapping and I've, what I've have you. I've heard of him. But back in the day, he was campaigning to play Miles Morales oh. uh, Spider-Man, and of course it didn't happen, and now he's aged out of the role, I would say. Uh, but he did have a role in Spider-Man Homecoming, and that was, um, I, I looked into it because I thought, there's no way you give Donald Glover a random thug as a role. Yeah. So instead, I mean, if you go to the the IMDb, he has a name. His name is Aaron Davis, and so in the comics, he's Miles Morales's uh, uncle. Yeah. And he does say, you know, hey, I got, I have a nephew here. I I care about this neighborhood. So that hints at that. Maybe they could go there. In please the go there, please, Miles Morales, please. Unfortunately, Aaron Davis is always a criminal, known yeah. as the Prowler. He is no Uncle Ben to Miles, and. Uh, yeah, he does have other things in common with Uncle Ben. <laughs> and oh, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's this was actually rumored for a long time. There were mm -hmm. people saying it was going to be his teacher, but that he was going to be involved in the Miles Morales story in some way. So I'm glad it actually ended up happening. Yeah, because I love him. Well, what's funny is they used a lot of names in this movie of other characters, other classic characters. So basically, Ned is uh, is Peter's friend from school. He's a nerd. He loves uh, playing with Lego. He's very loose with Peter's secret. You know, it's uh, a hard secret to keep. I'm he's just excitable. Saying. He's exactly like one of Miles' friends from the comics. He's like Genki Lee, but they made him Ned for some inexplicable sure. reason. I don't know why they Ned. did that. That is kind of weird, unless they thought that would be too much of a hint toward Miles. Well, it's just like. But it, I mean, if you're going to hint. But then that character was so fun know, and so I cute. That, I love and him. I loved seeing him, and there's no reason why his name should be Ned, he, which is no. another character who's far more boring. It, is there going to be a big reveal that this is not who it actually is? Just then, kidding. I'm Peter Morales. No, that's not going to work. No, it's it's no. it's too messy. But basically, they've <laughs> supplanted one of the uh, one of Miles' friends as to one of Peter's friends yeah. instead. Um, one nice iconic moment that was redone for the film. Well, we know that there's kind of a tense mentorship between Tony and Peter, which mm. also does happen in the comics right. in a different way. And he takes away the suit and he says, "If you, if you're nothing without it, you shouldn't have it." And then he has to like <laughs> use the force of will to convince himself that he truly is Spider-Man without the suit and lift the thing <laughs> off his body from being crushed. Guess what? That happened in the comics, though slightly different. It's just so many different things melded over. It was in the Master Planner saga. And he had it's there's the room's flooding, it's dire, he could die. But this time it's with Vulture, so it's yeah. Completely different. And, and honestly, like if you look at most hero sagas, you know, if you look at like Joseph Campbell kind of stuff, like you really you often see that. Like, are you is it the sword that you have that's important or is it you? Or mm -hmm. so that's sort of a test that happens with every young hero in pretty much every story. So yeah. it I like it. I think it I think it kind of works. Yeah. I mean, what's interesting was how much the suit came into play. Yeah. Because usually when we think of the Spider-Man movies, the suit is it looks cool, but it's less important. Right. You know? Uh, but it was really important in this. Also, the suit they showed at the end looked like a suit in the comics, and you just, okay, that's not the moment I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, they, you may have noticed after the credits, or in the middle of the credits, rather, because it's not after, after the credits. That's a good scene, too. But you just uh, number them, just number them with a big number right before they start. The last one is very good. It's up there with Ferris Bueller level end of credit <laughs> scenes. Um, but in this one, you see a bad guy who was hinted at at being important before with lingering shots. And he's like, hey, I hear you know who Spider-Man is. And then Vulture says, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. And um, turns out that guy is Scorpion. To illustrate this point further, he has a Scorpion tattoo on his neck. I um, wonder what that means. In his original story, <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, we were talking earlier, we found this article that referenced it, and they said, maybe he'll be the next vulture. And the answer is no, no. he's Scorpion. No, because uh, the scorpion on scorpion. his neck indicates that. And <laughs> it's, it's, he, well, we, originally he was hired by J. Jonah Jameson 
to follow Peter around. Yeah. So I doubt that's going to come into play no. in the future because he doesn't work for the newspaper right now because he's a kid. <laughs> and I don't think you should recast J. Jonah Jameson. Please I'm don't. sorry. It's already been done the best it's ever going to get done. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. And lastly, there is, uh, you may remember, back to the topic of the suit. <laughs> this little emblem does something. It turns into Busby, the electronic Busby. drone spider. That's so and cool. And it was used also in the comics to, because um, essentially Peter takes selfies of himself as Spider-Man and Don't sells it to all. the newspaper for money. And, <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to do that. But what if you had a little drone buddy to help take pictures of you in your action moment? But see, now you know what's going to happen is that we're all going to get that. What? And then the whole the whole world's going to be buzzing with selfie drones. I, well, the world's already and buzzing. With I know, drones but no, now we've got sticks. So we now now they'll just be little selfies just flying around, little selfie drones. Well, I mean, Buzz does Busby. other things too, like <laughs> I, he flies around and helps with reconnaissance. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I was thinking of the little things that Peter sticks to track people. That's different. Yeah, uh, than Busby. Yeah. Um, so that's just that's only five. I actually alluded to more uh, because I want to do more. But if you caught a, <laughs> an Easter egg in Spider-Man Homecoming, I'd like to know which one is your favorite. You can do that below. And please like and subscribe for more.